Hey everybody, welcome to the Tuesday edition of Warrior Daily. Tom Gorman and Phil Nickel here with you. Coach, you're coming off a pretty tough weekend stretch against those GLIAC North Division teams. Uh, Grand Valley, Saginaw Valley, and Ferris State all on one weekend. A, a tall order, uh, but your team battled hard. Came away 1-2, and two, but that can be a little deceiving because every match was very, very close. And you came away with a nice win against uh, Grand Valley State on Friday. Yeah, it was uh, definitely a long weekend. And, you know, and talking to one of the coaches, we talked about how it was interesting. It ended up kind of the top teams in the whole conference ended up playing in one weekend uh, with Grand Valley, Saginaw, Ferris, ourselves, Hillsdale. Um, and Finley ended up beating Saginaw on Sunday, so I guess you have to throw them in there too. But um, great win on Friday against uh, Grand Valley. You know, it's we beat them two years ago, so I guess um, wasn't any milestone of years and years since we'd beaten them, but it's always great to win, especially at Grand Valley. It was a, a very exciting match. We came out and played really well the first two games, uh, really took it to them, and then uh, they made some adjustments, came back and uh, beat us the next two games, and fifth game was uh, on the edge of their seat, I think. We were down 12-9, and uh, were able to come back and win at 15-13, uh, so the kids were really excited, and you know it was a lot of fun. Um, Saturday we went to Saginaw. It was uh, we came out really flat. I think some letdown from the night before, but uh, we were able to get them going again and played pretty well. The third game, uh, second part of the second game, third game, and uh, the fourth game we had multiple chances to win that game to force it to a fifth and just couldn't quite pull it through. And then kind of the same type of thing happened on Sunday. We we started out we played really well the whole match against Ferris. Um, were ahead or tied at, at 20 in each of the three games and uh, again just couldn't finish the games off and ended up uh, losing uh, three really tight games. So, Well three tough places to play for sure. Three teams who are annually it seems in the GLIAC tournament. Two of those teams, Grand Valley and Ferris State in fact nationally ranked this season uh, but your team took them to the limit. Well, and you know and we've talked about it, your team is fairly young, a lot of new players, a lot of freshmen trying to uh, make their mark on this team. What did you learn about some of your players uh, after this weekend that you know maybe you didn't know before after battling so tough against these teams? Uh, I think we learned that you know everyone not the people who played anyways you know have a lot of heart you know and we talked we were really disappointed in how we came out on Saturday against Saginaw and we talked a lot about if you want to be one of the best teams you can't do that you can't uh, put yourself in a hole especially on the road um, like we did so we talked about that a lot came out on Sunday with a lot of folks and a lot of energy, and I was really proud of them for that. I, I wasn't sure they had it in them because, like you said, it's a long weekend traveling. We went from Grand Valley to Saginaw and back to Ferris, which is a long trip in and of itself, and then to throw in a five-gamer on Friday, a long four-gamer on Saturday. Uh, it, it showed me a lot that they were able to come out on Sunday and, and put a, forth a lot of energy and, and a great effort and, like I said, give themselves a chance to win. We just got to figure out how to get over that hump of uh, finishing those games off. Well, your team will stay on the road, at least for Friday. Uh, you'll head to Hillsdale, uh, third-ranked team in four matches for your Warriors. Hillsdale comes in ranked 11th in the nation uh, in the poll that just came out yesterday. Uh, but then you get to get back to your home floor on Saturday uh, to take on Finley. So somewhat unusual, at least maybe compared to past years where you go away for a day and then home for a day. Uh, but let's talk about what's coming up this weekend for your team. Yeah, Hillsdale will be tough. Uh, they always are. You know, they've, uh, like I said, ranked 11th in the country. We're excited, though, to play. You know, we talked a lot uh, this weekend, too, about you want to play good teams. That's what it's all about. You want to test yourself against the best. And, you know, Hillsdale has been one of the better teams or the best teams the last uh, two or three years. So uh, we're excited about going over there and, and, and putting forth our best effort and see what we can do. And then it'll be great to be back at home, though, obviously, on Saturday. And hopefully we can... Uh, um, you know, starting this weekend, get a, a winning streak going again like we had there before. And, um, you know, both are going to be tough matches. Finley always plays as tough. Their record isn't uh, as good as some others, but, you know, they did beat Saginaw on Sunday. And, and like I said, they always play as tough. So we're expecting two uh, really good matches this weekend. Well, on Saturday should be special as well because it's Kids Day at the Math Eye. We're offering free admission to any kids who come wearing their team uniform or if they participated in one of your camps from this past summer. Their camp t-shirt will get them in free as well. It's always nice to see uh, the kids fill up the math eye and make a lot of noise. And, you know, maybe there's some future warriors on the stands, too. I, you never know. We had a good turnout at camp this summer. Hopefully we can get some of those kids to come back and uh, get some teams in here. And like you said, maybe uh, 
it sparks a really interest for them and want to be warriors someday and you know help us uh, cheer us on to victory this weekend as well. So, All right, Coach. Well, best of luck. We'll talk next week. All right. Thank you very much. All right. Phil Nickel from the volleyball team. I'm Tom Gorman. Thanks for watching Warrior Daily.